hello guys welcome again to another tutorials i remain your one and only creative sash joe and for today's tutorials i will be teaching you how to print on your native if you've not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button below so let's get to it So we have our attire ready, which was sewn by my tailor, and I think he did quite a very good job. The idea behind today's design is to have a lion's face on my native. So this is why I have all this old red space sewn on this particular attire. As you already know, the attire came with its own design. So I needed a place where I could have my own design and then it could also make sense. And I decided to make this red because I wanted to print black. So having black on red and having slight reds on the attire itself made more sense. We will need to measure the space here to see if the design will fit into it. Now let me inform you, my cutter actually cut a breadth of 195, that's the maximum it can go. So let's take our ruler here to 195, so it's about this length. So I'm going to place it on the image and this works. We'll be using what we call a heat transfer paper. This time it's called um, Flux. So Flux looks like this. So when you cut out your designs using the computer and the cutter, then when you iron this particular material on the shirt, it sticks to it. So guys, let's go to the computer. This is the design that I want to put on the native. It's a lion's face. I got this image from the internet, so you can do that as well. But I had to convert it to curves so that I'll be able to work on it. So let's not forget that previously I told you that my cutter only cuts a maximum of 19.5 cm. That's in breadth. So I have to measure this image to fit into 19.5 cm so i'm going to take my rectangle i'm going to draw a small rectangle go to the measurement point type 195 this time it's in millimeters so as they say 10 millimeters make one centimeter so i'm going to click on that so we have 19 this point to this point is 19.5 i'm going to um, enlarge this that's the the length or the height rather so i'm going to take my image i'm going to center it after doing that i'm going to drag my image enough to fit into 19.5 so the image of the lion's face is 19.5 in breadth so what i'm going to do let's see i'm going to put this a little bit to make it widen okay so this is a perfect image so for me to send it to my cutter i have to just show the linings so i'm going to take this take this okay and let's not forget to mirror so this is how i'm going to print or rather cut out my image on the flux We're done with cutting. The next thing is for us to weed. If you don't know what weeding is, then our device, you go to this link to watch the previous videos that I've done explaining what weeding is. So we're going to go ahead to weed.
Make sure your iron is really hot. Then we're going to press the surface to remove any wrinkles and to also make the surfaces hot. Then we're going to place the image on the right spot that we want it to be on. We're going to place this on it and then iron. So after pressing for some minutes, we're going to remove the surface and then allow the image to also allow to cool allow to cool first before you remove after cooling we're going to peel off gradually Okay, I think this looks beautiful. With we'll iron again. And that is it. Our image is done. Come to the end of this wonderful video if you love the video please give me a like if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for do subscribe don't forget it's okay to be different and creative until you see next time i remain your one and only creative sash joe